Hi. Now, in this question, we're asked to solve 2 cos squared x plus 1 equals 5 sine x for x greater than or equal to 0 but less than 2 pi, and x is measured in radians. So how are we going to do this? Well, the equation has got a mixture of trig functions. We've got sine x and we've got cos squared x. So we need to get them into the same trig function. And we can do that through an identity. And that identity that you should already know is essentially cos squared x plus sine squared x is identical to 1. And if we rearrange this to make cos squared x the subject, we would therefore have cos squared x is identical to 1 minus sine squared x. So what we can do is in our equation, wherever we see the cos squared x, just replace it with 1 minus sine squared x. So that's where we start then, by doing that. We'll just replace that with 1 minus sine squared x plus the 1 equals 5 sine x. Now we can expand the bracket, and so therefore we get 2 minus 2 sine squared x plus the 1 equals 5 sine x. Now we've got a quadratic equation in sine x, because we've got this squared here, and so we need to rearrange this, make this equal to 0. So if I add 2 sine squared x to both sides, and 2 and 1 makes 3, and so if I subtract 3 from both sides as well, what I would get would be 2 sine squared x plus the 5 sine x minus 3 equals 0. So we have our quadratic equation in sine x. It's in the right format now, and so we should be able to factorize it. So if we factorize it, a couple of brackets equals 0, we're going to have 2 sine x, and we'll have sine x there. And then two numbers multiply together to give minus 3. If we look closely, it's going to be minus 1 and plus 3, because when we multiply this out, we'll get our 2 sine squared x, 6 sine x minus sine x, that's the 5 sine x, and then minus 3, okay, equals 0. So that's fine. So that means that now we've factorized it, either this factor or this factor can equal 0. So we'd say therefore 2 sine x minus 1 equals 0, or the other factor sine x plus 3 equals 0. So from this first factor, if we rearrange it by adding 1 and dividing by 2 to both sides, we'd end up with sine x equals a half. Or, if we subtract 3 from both sides here, we'd end up with sine x equals minus 3. Now, this is very straightforward. If sine x equals minus 3, you should know that sine only goes between minus 1 and 1, so therefore you'll never get minus 3. So in fact, if you tried on your calculator to do x equals the inverse sine of negative 3, you'd get an error. So there is no solution for this particular equation. So it just means that we need to solve sine x equals a half. So to do that, we would inverse sine both sides, so we've got x equals the inverse sine of a half. And if we were trying to solve this then between 0 and 2 pi, what we could do is draw a quadrant diagram. We've got that sine is a positive value, and sine is positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant, so draw two lines equally inclined to the horizontal, marking those two angles as being the same. Which angles do we want? Well, we want from 0 to 2 pi, so we need to turn in an anti-clockwise direction. Starting from here, going to the first blue line, this would be one possible solution for x. Starting again from here, turn from here 
to the next blue line so that's another possible solution for x. When we do the inverse sine of a half you should really know this in degrees mode it is 30 degrees. So that means that expressed as a multiple of pi that's going to be pi upon 6. So you might have a calculator that can give you that in terms of pi. Pi upon 6, the equivalent of 30 degrees. So that means that this angle in here is pi upon 6 radians. You can mark that in with a little c there if you like for radians. And that means that this little blue angle in here is pi upon 6 radians. Knowing that all of this, half a turn, 180 degrees in radians is pi radians, we would need to get this green x by doing pi radians minus pi upon 6 radians. Well that's going to give you 5 pi upon 6 radians. So giving each solution in terms of pi, we've got these answers. And that's what was requested, give them in terms of pi. OK, so I hope you've been able to follow that and that brings us now to the end of this question.